My name is Thomas Bjorn and I'm going to offer you a little bit of advice on uh, on potting. Uh, and one of, one of my favorite potting training ways is uh, really just to use one hand. Um, I always found that uh, if you're a right-handed person all you feel is in your right hand and all your aim is in your left hand. So if you're struggling with your aim, I always tend to put with my left hand only and just stand up and get a good set in like a normal pot and then I'll just hit pots with my left hand only and that gives me a good idea of aiming the potter correctly and if I struggle with my pace I'll stand up and hit pots with my right hand only. I always found that uh, one good exercise as well for amateurs when they get on new golf courses or yeah, I even do it sometimes, a great way of feeling, if I was going to throw a golf ball, we all seem to just do that by nature. And a lot of times to get a good feel for greens is to actually roll the, the golf ball with whatever hand you, you uh, which is your preferred hand, so in my case the right hand, and I'll just stand and roll the ball on the green two or three times just to get a feel of how slow the greens are. Because when we throw the golf ball, we do it by nature because we've done it since we were very, very young and it's just a natural thing for us to throw a golf ball and it gives a great feel of how quick the greens are. But in general, putting right-handed, if you're a right-handed person, gives you the feel of the pace. Uh, if you putt with your left hand, if you're struggling with your aim, it gives you a great feel of where to aim the putt. So left-handed only. I tend to, every time I get to new golf courses, hit five putts left-handed only, five putts right-handed only, and then when you've done that, eventually you put the hands together and then you've got your aim in your left hand and your pace in your right hand.